When performing troubleshooting on the Apollo CAN system, it is important to remember that the master CM40 ECU needs to be communicating before the slave ECUs can have any troubleshooting performed. There will be two different scenarios based on tow between tank configuration and the tow behind as the CM40 is placed at different breakouts depending on the scenario. Ensure you are viewing the correct presentation. We are going to follow the CAN signal through the Apollo system, the way it's used on the Virgo tank. We're going to start at the front at the monitor plug. The monitor plug is here and is also U1 on the drawing. There's two sets of yellow and green lines coming out. We're going to be focusing on CAN1. The other set is CAN2. It goes out through the harness, turns around and comes back and it's terminated here at CAN2. So we only need to focus on the one. So if we go over here, we can follow easier. So pins eight and nine are CAN high and CAN low. We're gonna follow those out through the monitor harness. So number nine, CAN low, goes to ISO loop A in pin four, which is plug U6, and also to pin four, for ISO loop B, which is plug U9 of the drawing. The CAN high, pin 8, goes out to pin 2 on ISO loop A, and also to pin 2 on ISO loop B. From the monitor harness, we will be connecting to the in installed tractor harness that comes with the system. For the loop A connection, there can be a Y harness inserted between the tractor connection, which is this plug G for loop A connection, and also the loop A connection on the monitor harness. That Y harness allows us to be able to T in the cabin switch box for in cab use. If the in cab switch box is not desired, the two plugs simply get plugged together. Pin two on the loop A connection is going to go from there to the Powell terminator to pin E at the Powell terminator. Pin four at loop A connection is going to go to pin F on the Powell terminator. And that will terminate the loop A at the front of the system. The loop B connection coming from the monitor harness to the tractor harness. It's gonna plug into the H plug. So H2 is gonna follow through and it's gonna to go to L8, which is our ISO connection at the rear of the tractor. Pin four on plug H is gonna to go to pin L9 on the standalone ISO connection plug at the rear of the tractor. Continuing on from the tractor, we go to the front implement harness. So from our standalone ISO plug at the back of the tractor, we're going to connect to our ISO plug at the front of our implement harness. So still in pin eight with the can high coming off that harness, follow that through to the ECU breakout harness or the ECU breakout at the center of the drill. It's gonna wind up in pin E3. The can low, coming out on pin nine, so B9 here. It's gonna follow through, can low, and it's going to take us to pin E4 at our ECU breakout harness. From the ECU breakout on the rear harness, we will be attaching an ECU breakout harness. That breakout harness on the tank is going to be a triple harness. These are the part numbers here for the triple harness they sub up. So we're going to be going in with the can high on pin three. So here at A3, and we're gonna go through and it's gonna splice off. So it's gonna splice off and the first place we're gonna go is to the switch box break off for this harness. This is where we plug in the tank switch box. And our can high signal is going in on B. 
our signal also breaks off from pin A3 to go to each of the communication plugs. So if we follow through here, we'll find that the signal goes to pin 7 on each of the communication plugs. All three of these plugs are identical. So pin 7 is going to be the same on plug E, plug H, and plug K. So all three plugs can be used in any location. CAN low signal on 4, so pin A4 here, splices off, and it's going to go up to our switch box breakout on the tank. So our CAN low is pin B4 at our switch box breakout. It also splices off and it goes to each of the communication plugs in pin 8. So you see here, pin 8 on plug E, plug H, and plug K. Back to our ECU breakout harness. So we were going in with our CAN high and low on pin 7 and 8. These three plugs are all identical. The only ECU that is using the, the signal from pin 7 and 8 is our master ECU. The master ECU on the air seeder tank is always located closest to the tank wall. It'll be at the bottom of the stack. So that communication is done through pin e, E7 and E8, but for the rest of the ECUs to pick up, they're being picked up with the CAN signal after that ECU, and that comes out on pins 9 and 10 from the master ECU, and that's going to allow us to splice in the other ECUs. So if we use E as example, for example, as our master, that signal is going to come out of E9 and 10. It's going to go and splice off, and it gets terminated at the CAN2 terminator cap. But it also splices off, and it's going to go through to our other ECUs on pins 9 and 10, as you can see in this drawing. It also goes back up through the harness to where the ECU breakout begins on pins 5 and 6. And that's how we're going to go back through the harness to the ECUs on the drill. After the master ECU has been learned in on the toe between tank, we can then follow the signal back through to the ECUs that would exist on the drill. So we're going to go from the ECU breakout and we're going to follow pins 5 and 6 through the system to the back plug on the front implement harness. So we'll follow the can low. It's going to take us to pin 5 at the plug at the rear of the front implement harness. We're going to follow the can high from 6 to pin 6 at the back. The other signals we're carrying back from this point are on pins 15 and 17. They're going to be used for the termination of the signal after the last ECU breakout harness on the drill. With the toe between tank with the Apollo system, if there are no ECUs on the drill that is being towed behind the tank, for example, blockage, pack master or sectional control, you do not need to have any harnesses on the drill. And alternatively, instead of those harnesses, you can use this plug with the terminator cap at the back of the tank in the ISO connector. The high current power would just be capped, but you need this plug to terminate that signal. And this is if there is no ECUs on the drill with the tow behind. On the rear implement harness for a tow between cart, we need to get the signal back to the ECUs. So pins five at the front of the rear implement harness on the drill is going to go through to pin five at the ECU breakout. Pin six at the front implement plug is going to go to the ECU breakout at the rear of the implement harness. We are also continuing that signal for 
the can termination that we need to have at the rear of the harness. So pin three is going through to pin three, pin four is going through to pin four at the ECU breakout. Pour a tow between tank at the ECU breakout on the rear implement harness. To get the can termination, we need to go from pin three at the ECU breakout where the breakout harness attaches, follow through, and it goes to the switch, po switch box plug breakout. Pin four goes up through to pin four at the switch box plug breakout. Once we get to the switch box plug breakout, there will be a loop cap. That loop cap is going to take the signal from can high from pin two. It's going to loop back and it's going to come through pin eight. Pin four is going to go to pin four and loop back to pin seven. Then from the switch box, switch box plug breakout, we're going to follow can high pin eight down through to pin 17 at the ECU breakout. We're going to take the can low from pin 7 and we're going to go to pin 15 at the can at the ECU breakout. Once back at the ECU breakout, we're back on the rear implement harness where pin 17 from the ECU breakout harness will go our can high up to pin E on our rear Powell Terminator. It's going to go from pin 15, our can low, and it's going to pin F at our rear Powell Terminator. To connect our ECUs on our drill, and this depends on whether we have a single ECU, a double ECU, or a third ECU, there's three different harnesses. The triple, which we have displayed here, this part number's here. If it's two ECUs, these part numbers. If it's a single ECU, it's these part numbers. And these all sub up to the newest one. If you do not have ECUs, then this is the breakout plug that will be used, which continues the CAD signal. So from the ECU breakout on the front implement harness, we go into the ECU breakout and we follow CAN high which is going to go through to the CAN2 breakout here. It's also going to go down through to our ECUs so we can learn them in as well. Once the main master is learned in, it's important to remember that it doesn't matter the sequence of any of the others, but none of the others will work unless the master is plugged in. So pin nine here for the other ECUs on all three plugs, whether it's a single, double, or triple. Our can low, pin five, is going through. It's going to go to this can two again, terminator. And it's going to go down here to the ECU breakouts on pin 10 on all the plugs, depending whether you have single, double, or triple again. 